In today's video, I got back 100 cards from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another epic PSA return video. We have a lot of cards to open up today, but before that we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Axe of Despair first edition PSA 8. We're doing a PSA video, so we've got to give away a PSA card. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card you see in this video, and hopefully we got some awesome grades here. Before we get into the opening of all these cards and seeing what we got, if you're interested in any of these cards, a lot of them will be available tonight on Whatnot at 4.30 p.m. Central. I'm gonna have some available for buy now, some on auction, and it's gonna be a really fun stream it's our fourth stream we've done since we got back on whatnot and all of them so far have been awesome this is our first one involving graded cards so this should be pretty cool and so if you are interested you're seeing this video on thursday then make sure you come to the whatnot stream tonight it's going to be pretty awesome it's 30 minutes earlier than usual so keep that in mind there's also going to be insane giveaways i've given away like over three thousand dollars worth of cards in the last three streams so if you guys are interested in winning stuff for free you don't have to buy anything for a lot of those some of them you do have to buy stuff but most of them you don't someone that just watched the stream and didn't buy anything want to go share a star us last stream so uh that could be you and don't forget if you do check out the whatnot stream you get 15 dollars for free if you've never been on the platform just click my link down below make sure to do that and if you want to go find me go search me ruxin 34 in the app and you'll find my scheduled show and you can save it i'm also going to have a few other shows like coming up so if you want to save those as well then you'll know when they're coming up all right guys let's get into this they have updated their boxes guys Look at this thing. Okay, let me let me zoom out real quick. They used to have the smaller ones. This is like a 50 card box or something. I don't know what's going on here. I have two of these. So I'm assuming it's a 50 card box. Uh, let's just open it up. I've never seen this box before. I don't know when they started using these. It's been a while since a PSA returned, so it could have been a couple months ago. Okay, I just went ahead and pulled everything out because it was going to be too difficult to use that box. So we're going to go one at a time. This is the order they were in. Let's see. They got a little bit of junk on the back. That's pretty usual you know how it goes with grading there's also often stuff in the in transit a little scratched up okay let's see what this is first card hopefully we got some Jim mittens speaking of Jim mittens a dark magician girl premium gold the psa 10 that's a great start that is a really nice card dark magician girl psa 10 we're taking that every time let's see about this one Ooh, saying it from turbo pack our turbo pack opening if you guys missed that go watch it it was insane unfortunately this got a nine that's still a really nice card i'm so excited to have psa returns back especially these big ones because i have not actually i actually sent in another one recently but i hadn't been sending them in just because i didn't have a lot of cards to submit at the moment we have a, oh, a seven. Evil Hero Inferno Wing. Did I miss a bin somewhere? Maybe like a little ding or something. With a seven, that probably means it was some sort of like light bin, like really light. They're, they're easy to miss. So I'm guessing that's what that was. Our first seven of the day, you know you're going to get one. I mean, it's just natural. A lot of times you're going to miss something. You oh, UFO Roid. Always an eight, man. I can't even get a gradable UFO Roid. We pull UFO Roid all the time. It's never even gradable. We've got seven, eight, nine, ten already. Four cards in. Who would have thought? Oh, Pokemon. Wait, what did I send with Pokemon? We got Pokemon cards in here? What was this? Oh, the Mewtwo V-Star. Okay, we got a nine. So I pulled these on Twitch. So go check out my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash ruxin34. We pulled these when we opened some of the uh, Crown Zenith sets. That's fun. I think I have another one of these. That's what this is, right? Both nines, unfortunately. So two uh, Mewtwo V-Stars, nines on a new card. Not awesome. Let's see what else we got. We have an eight Necro Gardener. Oh, we are getting killed so far. Ultimate rares can be rough sometimes. It looks like they're going to be rough in this submission. Oh, a Blaze Accelerator Champion Pack 6 PSA 10. Is this the one I pulled? I think this is the one I pulled back in the day. That's sick. Yeah, I pulled this out of like 10 loose packs at one point. We're talking like three years ago. Maybe we can find that video to pop up so you guys can go revisit that one if you guys haven't seen that. You probably haven't if you're watching in 2023. All right, two tens, not bad. That was a good one. And we have a, oh, the Utopia Collector Rare. Got a nine. Okay, no big deal. We have a Uriah. Dude, every time I grade these, they get sevens and eights. I don't know what it is. Next one, we have Dark Sages in A2. Oh, he's a little warped. You can actually see this. Look at this. He's warped in the case. That makes sense. Maybe that was some of the reason. Next card, a 10 on the Earthbound Immortal. Rira Kokoraska, secret rare from the 10. That is nice. Anytime you can get a 10 promo as a 10. 10, 10, I should probably say it differently, but you know. Ooh, Galaxy has Photon. I pulled a lot of these and that got a, that got a nine, unfortunately. What else can we get? A, ooh, a Blackwing Dragon. We pulled this one too, I think, out of a 10. So it looks like opening that uh, Blackwing Dragon 10, we might have made our money back. That's insane. It always comes down if those promos can grade a 10 if you make your money back. Ooh, Chimera Tech Overdragon. We can't get that Ultra Rare, but hey, we got a PSA 10 Ultra Rare. Honestly, a lot of 10s so far. I mean, we're got, we got some 8s in there. This is not great, but we're doing fine so far. Let's see what else we'll get next. 
Oh, a Dark Panther PSA 10. This is one I pulled as well. We pulled this out of Power of the Duelist. So that's nice to see some of our Power of the Duelist openings actually paying off. Got a little bit of uh, ulti stamp. Sometimes you can get away with that and get a 10. That's nice. Very nice. That card was very minty. So I'm happy to see that got a 10. All right, next card. Oh, our card trooper that we, we tried so hard to pull this. Man, the, for some reason, the collector rares are hitting better in the PSA case. I think like the reflectiveness is nice. There's a nine, unfortunately. All that work for that $20 card. We got a, oh, a Winged Dragon of Raw from Premium Gold, PSA 10. Premium Gold's treating us well. Both of our Premium Gold cards have gotten 10. That is nice. We'll take that. What was that from? Was that from the Every Gold opening? If you guys missed that one, go watch it. Every Gold series opening. That was fun. Next one we have... Drag got a 10 too. That's sick. Our turbo pack opening. Turbo pack four. This one wasn't turbo pack six. We also opened turbo pack four. This, I'm going to be recommending a lot of videos because all of these are from videos. Go check that one out. That was apparently a gym mint 10 worthy. I think this is an old Pokemon card. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Here's the Shining Fates. We pulled this in a video, like a regular Ruxa video. It wasn't any sort of like extra channel. We actually opened Pokemon packs at one point and pulled this like two or three years ago when this was hot. And I just never graded it because I didn't want to send a Pokemon card in. Turns out it was a great card. So uh, PSA 10, I don't think it's worth nearly as much as when I pulled it, but we'll take it. Okay, next up, a nine on the Shining Phoenix Enforcer. That's okay. That's not bad. We have a nine on the Grand Neos. Okay, okay. I don't remember where those came from. Maybe collections. Oh, a 10 on the ulti VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Man, we have some good cards so far. This is a great sub so far. I'm feeling this. This is nice. What's up next? We have a tour guide secret rare. I think I just had this one. And it looked really minty. I don't think I pulled that one. That was, might have been from a collection or something. We have a nine on the Raviel. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, ultra rare. We'll take it. Pretty cool. Next, okay, let's get back to the 10s. We got a nine on the hero metal. Some of these random ultis like hero metal like looked really nice. So I went ahead and, and graded them. Our nine is past the tens, which for a while the tens were beating the nines, which was pretty unusual. We have a oh, fish pork blaster. Got an eight right out of the pack. That's not good. I think I graded all of those. Oh, feather shot. That would have been a cool ulti for avian fans out there. Just a nine. Still pretty nice. I mean, ultis, you know, we've had some ulti tens, so I can't complain. A nine on the Neos Force. Okay, those were minty cards, but I'm sure they had something going on. A eight on the double dude. Okay, eight on the double dude. That sucks. Uh, we have a oh, Levianir got a 10. Sick. That's a really cool gym in 10. Chaos Dragon Levianir from OTS 12. It's just a really cool artwork. I love this card. Hey, ulti 10. We're taking, especially a new ulti. Those can be weird sometimes. All right, next card. We have a nine. Oh, I think I graded a bunch of these. These Tempest and, uh, and Redox, I think. We got a, oh, a 10 on a Megamorph. This was just a regular unlimited MRL, but I was like, hey, this thing's minty. I'm going to grade it. We pulled this one, I believe. So might as well take that 10. That's pretty nice. We have a ghost. Oh, it's a nine. Oh, this would have been huge as a 10. I remember this one looking nice, but with these, they always look amazing. And then when you look at them closer, you somehow miss like a print line. So that's probably what happened here. But a nine on this is still really good because these are so hard to get. I mean, look at the foil. Oh, the foil's so good on these. It's literally some of the best ghost foil. It's so bright. It's like blinding almost. It's amazing. So I probably missed like a print line in there or something like that. I can't see one here, but... Pretty much every time, yeah, there's always something on those. It's so hard to find them. No matter how many angles you look at it at, there's something you missed. Okay, that's why those Gold Series Haunted Mine 10s are insane to find. We have a... Okay, another 9 on Tempest. Come on, Tempest. At least give us one 10. Oh, a Scapegoat Ulti 10. Cool. I think I got this in a collection. I was like, you know what? I'll grade this thing. It looks pretty nice. Scapegoat Ulti PSA 10. We'll take that. That's pretty nice. What else we got? Oh, a Sky Striker Ace Hayate. That must have been really nice for me to grade this because this is more of a playable card. I wouldn't recommend grading a card like this, but I was like, it's so minty. I'm just going to go ahead and grade it. So Hayate got a Ultimate Rare PSA 10. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if there's a lot of those graded. I'm not sure because it is sort of a playable card. Oh, Hobby League. I tried some Hobby League. They got an eight. We'll see. I mean, those can be really hard to have minty because like they fray on the edges and stuff or like turn up and stuff. Oh, UFO Red Fighter, first Ed. That would have been such a nice one. It looks like it might be a little OC. That might be why I got the nine. Still a really nice card. I mean, it looks awesome. All right, next card, a... Ooh, Vanabanaga. That's cool. Collector Rare from Ancient Guardians. We'll take that. PSA 10, looking good. A lot of 10 so far. I'm liking this sub so far. Oh, a Solemn Judgment. Another one, another playable one, but it's also an iconic old school. You know, it's, in metal, it's not Metal Raiders, but it is a version of that card. That's pretty sick. Ulti... We have a Redox. We did get a 10 on the 10. 10 on the 10. I don't know which one would be 10, but we got it. 
We have a Ramanaga. We went for the Tactical Evolution version as well. That's a nine. That's okay. Still a nice card. We have a Redox. Okay, got a nine. We need a Tempest now to at least have both of them in ten. Ooh, speaking of Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman got a PSA 10. That's a sick card. If this was an ulti, it'd be insane money, but the Ultra is still an awesome card as well. Okay, good start so far. We have a Water Dragon. I had this one set aside to grade for so long because it looks so good. And I guess I was right, PSA 10. I was gonna send this in like a higher end sub with like less cards, but then I was like, you know what? I'll send it in the bowl because it's not really worth that much. I love the look of this card. Oh, this is definitely going in the collection. This one will not be available on Whatnot tonight. That is a sick card. Wow, that one is definitely going into the collection. That's an awesome one. Okay, that was exciting. That's one of my most exciting ones yet. Uh, Dingirsu, I knew that one looked good. That's another playable card that I graded some ultis that were a little iffy if you should grade them or not, but they're all getting 10, so I'll take it. Uh, Miss Archfiend, first Ed from Force of the Breaker. Heck yeah. This thing looks like it's a little off center. I think I might have gotten a little leniency there. This is probably in the 60 40, maybe. Oh, maybe not, actually. It kind of tilts a little bit. Hey, we'll take that, though. Two cards to go. Let's see. We have a... Oh, a Jim Mint in. Come on. Lord of Striking Thunder. That's got some really nice centering. That thing's right in the middle. We got more tens than nines here. This is insane. What else we got? Transcendent Wings. This would be such a cool 10 to go with, like, uh, the Wing Karibos and stuff. That's the halfway point, I think. Uh, we're doing really well. I can't complain about this so far. All right, halfway point. Hope you guys have been enjoying your uh, your uh all your tea and snacks and whatever you're eating. What, and popcorn, of course. What is on the back here this is the first card so they always get covered in crap so that's why i got the handy dandy towel thing to get that off a little bit of a scuff there i think i can get off okay we got everything off the back of that let's see if it was another 10 like last time oh it is an invasion of chaos dark magician of chaos original ioc whoa it's not first ed that would have been amazing but hey that's a pretty awesome unlimb where did that card even come from did i pull that all right next card we have a oh Brionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. That's a sick secret rare from Hidden Arsenal. I don't think it's a huge money card, but I don't know about tens. That's that's pretty nice. Ooh, Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, or Battles Legend Hero Revenge. Just a nine, but a really nice card. We have a Beast Skull Dragon from Metal Raiders. I think this is the one I pulled from our openings back in like the 2022 tens. So when we opened every 2022 10, I think that was the card. So a uh, little bit off center, make sure it's since I got a nine. We have a, we did get a Tempest, so we got both Tempest and Redox. We'll take that. That's awesome. Let's see what else. Another Redox. Really cool. I think I graded like six of those because we opened so many of them. <gasps> ghost Rare. We went for it. Unlimited Ghost Rare. Just got an eight, though. That's unfortunate. Okay. Must have had, well, you know, Ghost Rare scratches, stuff like that. We have an, oh, an eight on the Tempest. That one must have been, you know, had something I missed. We have a Redox, another nine. So I'm going to have a lot of those. Probably some available on Whatnot tonight. We have a, another Redox. What else can we get? We have a, another Tempest PSA 10. We're taking that. What else we got next? A 8 on a Blaster. Yeah, this is from when we opened every 10. I figured I'd throw these in because I only had one of them, but Blaster, not so good. Oh, what was the other one that I don't have? The uh, Oh, another Tempest. All right, Tempest 10. Makes sense. We have a Grand Bowl Ulti. That would have been so nice in 10. Even in 9, that's an amazing card. Look at that card. That is awesome. All right, next card, we have a Dogma. We graded a 10 in one of these in our last sub, so uh, that would have been cool to get another one, but a 9, still pretty nice. What else we got left? Cyberdark Dragon, that would have been another nice 10. Come on, come on, come on. Flare Neos, 9. Oh, here come the 9s. It's a 9 train. Come on, 10s, get back to it. A 9 on the Hero Barrier. It's a 9 streak, and we should have started with this one, I think. We had a nine. Oh, that's an original secret rare from Ancient Prophecy. Just a nine. That would have been a cool 10 as well. Let's see what else we got. Card of safe return. First Ed. Oh, more nines. Come on, come on. A Fishborn Blaster. One got an eight, one got a nine. How do those get separated so much? I don't know. A 10. Yes, we got a Phoenix Enforcer BSA 10. We've got like a shadow from how tall the nine stack is. Very nice. Gem Mint 10. We'll take that. I think I might move these stacks over just because they're creating a shadow at this point. We'll put the seven there. We'll have, we'll have a new stacks to start. Let's go here with a Mass Dragon 9. Okay, that's right out of a Turbo Pack 6 opening. We have a Big Shield Gardener. That's from TP5. That would have been a really nice 10. TP cards in 10 are awesome. We have a Two World. Oh, so many nines in this one. Turn it around. Come on, Fearman Turtle. Another nine. That's one that we pulled out of CP. CP02, actually. We have a lot of... I think that's the only card. One of the two cards that don't have CP in PSA 10. 
Uh, Ghost Rare. Oh, look nice. Look how shifted down it is. Solemn Judgment. Oh, I don't think we've hit a 10. We've hit like 110 out of this box. It's been rough. We have another nine of the turtles. The turtles are nines. No, what else we got? Come on. Oh, a seven. Oh, the Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. Shifted name shouldn't affect the grade, so I don't think it was that. It was probably something else. You know, 10 promos, they often have like bins or something like that. Come on, give us something. A nine on the Fiend Sanctuary. That's another CP. That's a CP Ultra. That would have been huge. Come on, give us a 10. Magicians Unite a nine as well. Oh, man, it was such a good start. We're getting killed now. Oh, there we go. Acid Trap Hole. Dark Duel Stories is just a promo, but hey, this is a really nice looking card. Acid Trap Hole. We are taking a Gem Mint 10 on that. What do we got here? Dark World Lightning. All of these CP cards are getting nines. This is why I originally didn't grade them because I was like, I don't think they'll get tens, but maybe they will. That's why I went for it. Oh, a first edition Amazon is Swordswoman from Magician's Force. These are actually pretty rare. That's a nice card. I think I have two of these now. Do I still have the other one? I think I do. I think I have two Amazon of Swordswoman. So that's actually a huge one. Very nice. What else can we get? We have ooh, an original Mirror Force. Another one from the 2002 Every 10 opening that we did. If you guys haven't seen that one at some point. Or, yeah, you got to go check that one out. Nice ultra rare. We're down to like, what, 12-ish cards left? Come on, got an eight. Okay, yeah, surprise, surprise. Come on, got an eight. What else will we get? Come on. Blue Eyes, BPT. That would have been a crazy 10. This is the one we pulled with Jobber, I think. It looks so good. Oh, a nine is so nice, but a 10 would have been massive on that card. Okay, here it is. I think this is the Magneton we pulled from the base set two pack, Leonhardt Center. So let's see what it grades. A nine. I mean, honestly, not bad for a Pokemon card. Watsy, pretty hard to grade. I'll take that. This was from Leonhardt. So this is pretty cool. Shout out to Leonhardt for sending me this pack. I think it was a, we did a charity event like two years ago. I gotta go back and revisit that. It was a really cool video. We opened up some old uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs and stuff. Go check that one out. My editor is gonna be asking me, what was this video? What was this video? <laughs> I'm gonna be searching for a lot of videos to recommend for you guys. But there's a lot of good ones from these openings. Okay. Another, okay, another one of those. We'll take that. I mean, I can't complain about Redox. I submitted a lot of those. We have a chain disappearance. Man, all those turbo pack cards. I think we got the Trag was the huge one. Other than that, it's been mostly nines. Fishboard got eight and nine. Wow, that's rough. We have a card of destruction or card destruction, I should say. That's, oh, that was so nice. A nice glossy print. Got the nine. It's such a nice old school card. Very iconic. That hand just reaching out there. It's really cool. Last few cards. Come on, what can we get? We got a nine on a chain destruction. We're turning pack four. These are so hard to get tens on. If we had gotten a 10 on this, it would have been insane. I don't even know if they're is a 10 of this card so that would have been huge yeah we're talking the tp4 version very rare oh, come on big shield gardener another why do i have so many big shield gardeners i think it was from my tp binder that i had all these we have a, another redox that's a nine we'll take it two more cards come on give us some tens we only got like three tens out of this box it's been rough Ooh, an ST Ghost Rare. It's probably another Ghost Rare. No, okay, what's the last card? I mean, it's been a crazy one. The first box was insane. We got so many 10s. Not as much in the second box, but it's still been really good. What will the last card be? Oh, a title got a 10. So we almost have the full set in 10. We just need one more. That's pretty sick. That's a good way to end it. Another PSA 10. Kind of flew through those because, you know, I mean, we're not going to, you know, diddly dally around. But hope you guys enjoy this. Still fairly long video. And uh, we pulled some amazing 10s out of here. I went pulled. I don't know if that's the right word. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more PSA returns, more openings, and more epic content like this. And don't forget to check out the Whatnot stream. Use my link down below. Get that $15 free and come get some of these tonight at auction. Shout out to Tone Fo Show. Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutzer, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mehmet Gecko, and Thomas Plain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.